Warriors tonight laying one to the Kings. Do we zigzag theory this? Oh, they already are. This is already two in a lot of places. Okay. It went it went the other way too. Yeah. It it this morning, this thing has been all over. Um and I mean, I got the king's hat here. Let me put this thing on because this is the old emblem. But oh my, that's old, old. Yeah, Jesus. Yeah, this thing's great. Um, the total is fascinating to me. We talked about this. The game went over a high mm-hmm. total before. Mm-hmm. So the book posts 240 and dares you, dares you to bet over. Now, some books have gone to 239 and a half right now. How does this one play out after that last one in game one? Does this play out similar similarly? I don't think they can play any other way. I don't think so either, right? This is another I, over. Yeah, I think that they're just going to play this the same way that they have played it. I don't know. This is, this is yeah, the zigzag theory, you know, for you guys that have never heard it, is when the team loses a game, they bounce back and win the next game. Mm-hmm. You, you ping pong the bets. This is a perfect opportunity to do it. And the market has spoken this morning already. They laid it with Golden State. So there's all twos. There's one, one and a half left. Um, do you like a side? Yeah, I like the Warriors. Yeah. Makes sense. It makes sense. I, I, I just give me the way that game ended, the way that second half went. I'll, I'll sign up for seven of these. I agree. I think, I think, I think this is where the zigzag theory makes its mark. But again, I don't want to bet it until I see. If I can get plus money on the Warriors at any point in time, if, if I get plus four, plus three, somewhere in that range, I want more than a possession on the Warriors. That's the time I'll bet the Warriors.